Well, hello, wonderful people of Redeemer. This morning, I'm excited about sharing with you uh, something, and it is from John chapter 14, verse 16. And it is Jesus speaking to his disciples, and he says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will help you and be with you forever. And if you know the story, uh, Jesus has been with his disciples and he's been their go-to person. Uh, when they, whatever it is that they needed, they would always run to him. Uh, when they were, for example, in a ship, in a storm, and they thought they were dying, they called out to him and said, Master, don't you know that we are dying? Uh, when they were confronted with multitudes and they did not know how to feed them, they said, Master, how can we feed all these people? Uh, very often when they did not understand something, they would come to him and say, Master, what did you mean? And so they, they really were dependent on him for everything, just for their lives. And here he was, in, uh, pending his, he was almost leaving them. And uh, he was saying, I'm not going to leave you by yourselves. I will ask the Father and he will send you another advocate and he will help you. And, as, and it's the same for us. We have the same spirit that Jesus talked about in us. When we accept Christ, uh, he gives us his spirit to live with us forever. And the spirit is still the same. He's still the advocate and he's with us to help. And I just have been thinking lately, how much are we allowing the spirit to help us? In reality, you know, there is knowing about something, but sitting down and being real with yourself and asking, how much am I allowing the spirit to help me? How much am I allowing the Spirit to lead me? How much am I allowing the Spirit to guide me? If, if I look in my life and, and if I am real and honest, am I allowing the Spirit to help me? We were never intended to go through the Christian work with our lives, just, you know, with our strength and, and everything. But God so designed, and that's the reason why He filled us with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit would lead us. He would help us. And I think sometimes the Spirit is crying out to us and saying, I wish you could ask me to help you. I want to help your son. I really do want to help you. But sometimes we are caught up in our experience. No, I know how to do this. I've done this for years and so I know how it goes. I've been able to reach this far and so I can go a little bit further. I know we talk about being full of the Spirit and being filled with the Spirit. But you know, it's not so that we can be like a cup that is overflowing and you know, there is a reason why we talk about being filled with the Spirit so that He can help us in the small things, in the big things, like the disciples always run to Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit to help us in literally everything. Redeem, I want to encourage you in a real sense to rely on the Holy Spirit. Would you learn to ask the Holy Spirit for help? in small things, in big things, would you allow him to help you? Because he is willing to help you. Sometimes we carry a lot of things on our shoulders and the Spirit is saying, I wish you would give that to me. Sometimes we worry and we are anxious and we are trying to go through how we can solve this and how we can get out of this and how we can, you know, put that together. And the Spirit is saying, I wish you would allow me to help you. Sometimes we are intimidated by what lies before us and the task is big and, and the Spirit is saying, I wish you would allow me to help you. Sometimes we feel a sense of emptiness and we don't know how to go about it and the Spirit is saying, I wish you would allow me to help you. May I invite you this morning to ask the Holy Spirit on a daily basis as you go through the day, Holy Spirit, would you continue helping me? You know, He's the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of counsel, He's a comforter. He's an intercessor. I mean, He is our help. We need to rely and learn to allow Him to help us. And as we do that, men, we will see amazing things happen in our lives. So God bless you as you request the Holy Spirit for help every day and as you allow Him to help you.